Hi guys, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest V. Today I am at Alpaca, and our destination is to the north. There is a cave to the north of us that we need to get over to, so uh, I don't know why I did that. But anyway, let's get off this carpet, and we're going to go to our ship, just cross this little channel right here. And then we'll have to get right back on our carpet again to fly on over there, because I don't want to get in any random battles. Um, that's the goal. <laughs> So anyway, we are doing some more side quests. We got the final key last time, and there's this dungeon we can only get into with the final key. So here we go. Why did I do that again? Ooh. <laughs> okay, so anyway, let's get off of here, and let's head on inside. You can't bring the wagon in here, so I'm just bringing in my normal, usual main party. Open the, that door, and uh, let's check out this slab, see what it says. Do not move the slab! Okay, I won't. <laughs> yeah, um, this dungeon has a pretty unique mechanic, and basically, if you have these evil floor things right there, and whenever those are uncovered, you have random encounters. When they are covered by these slabs right here, then you don't have any random encounters. So you have to push the slab over the face. Ooh, Barbarossa. So you have to push the slab over the face, and then you won't have any ran random encounters, and then you're able to move down to the next floor, and there's four stories of this. Now, on the first floor, there's just one stone slab to cover, but the floors do get progressively more difficult as you go. Anyway, um, after this battle, I'm going to cut it. Oh my god, they can use their drassel leaves? What a pain in the ass. After this battle, I'm going to cut it, and I'm just going to go ahead and cover the floor slab, and then we'll move on to the next floor. So that's pretty much the gist of this dungeon. Um, it's kind of nice that they make it so that, you know, you don't have um, any more random encounters after you do the slab. But it's also a royal pain. <laughs> like that pun. Okay, I'm going to cut it and I'll meet you back whenever I have the slab covered up. Okay, perfect. Got that taken care of. So let's head on over to the stairs now. They're just right on over here. There they are. Perfect. And we'll head down to the next floor. Now, this next floor has um, also just one face that we have to cover, but there's also some treasures down here. We have some evil eaters, an evil master, and some red eaters. Oh, lots of stuff. You know what? I really should equip my, uh, my flame tang boomerang, my flame boomerang, whatever they want to call it in this translation. There we go. Perfect. And then I'm probably going to have Pierre cast boom. That'll be really good to get rid of all these, uh, all these monsters. Oh, they're not too hard. They're not too bad. Yeah, we're doing okay. Nice. Rich, again, is still my main healer. Using his blessed staff, so that's coming in really nice and handy. Okay, awesome. Oh, wow, they can... What? Oh, you bitch! Oh, what a frickin' bitch! He, not only did he, like, replicate himself or call for backup, but he called, like, another one, and the more of these frickin' eater things came out of Oh, what an asshole. Oh, yeah. Asshole, I swear to God. You know, I probably should have... Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, I probably should have all my attacks focus on him. But anyway, he's dead now. So let's head down south. Uh, let's see what we got here. Over oh, there's the slab, and down here... Wow, some boss gomps and some Saurus Lords. I kind of think we've already seen the Saurus Lords. I don't remember, but I don't think that we've seen the boss gomps. Oh, well, they were easily dispatched, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh, good. That looked like it would be uh, pretty painful if it, if it uh, connected. Nice. Okay, very good. Yeah, we're actually kind of nearing the end of this game. So, really. Ooh, some cassowaries. Yeah, uh, we're, we're nearing the end of this game, so I was wondering, like, what game would you guys like to see me do next? I made a video about it. Yikes! I made a video about it on the channel. Um, basically, I'm considering going between two games. Uh, the first one that I'm considering is Lufia, the, um... The Legend Returns, that's one for the Game Boy Color with the Random Dungeons, which I wouldn't be showing the Random Dungeons, because who wants to see that? And some Lizard Men. Wow, we're getting all sorts of new monsters here. 
Um, and then the other one that I wanted to show was Final Fantasy VII for the NES. And that's in honor of Final Fantasy VII finally, finally getting a remake. Um, I've never played the NES version before, but it looks like it would be, you know, kind of a fun little jaunt on through. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm into NES ver uh, games. That's uh, what I played when I was growing up. So I think that would be uh, nice to do. Anyway, this is the, uh, the face that I have to cover up, so I'm going to cut it here. And I'll meet you back whenever I have the face covered up. Finally got that faceplate covered up, so let's keep moving. Go over here, grab this treasure. Small metal. Awesome. I think that we are one small metal away from that falcon sword for Rich. I think, 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 think. So that would be really nice if I can get that. Come on, open up. Oh my god, open up. Oh, an elfin amulet. Okay, very nice. So, let's keep on moving. Um, I'm gonna go down this stairway right here. There we go, perfect. So now we're on the next floor, and there are various plates around this floor. There's one there, there's one over there. Some mad hands! They're mad! Oh, and they took me by surprise, lovely. Um, so there are four plates on this floor, and then there are four faces on this floor that we have to cover up as well. But, uh, let's see. I'm also gonna cast Boom from here. Oh, no, I, I can't! Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Last floor, I encountered these guys called Moon Faces, and they cast Chance when they are a royal pain yet again. And their Chance spell made it so that all my guys had zero MP. So I am screwed. I am on the fourth floor of this frickin' dungeon with no healing, no magic, no nothing, no vac, none of that crap because of that asshole who cast the chance spell on me. So, uh, beware. I would recommend fizzling them, if if only I had known. <laughs> so anyway, there's another there's another boulder, there's another boulder, and then there's the four faces right over here. And some more soldier bull- have we seen the soldier bulls before? I don't think we have. I don't remember, but they're easily enough taken care of, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. But anyway, um, after this battle, I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to fill over those faces with those boulders, and I will meet you back. Here I go, pushing the last uh, boulder on top of the face. Come on, any day now. There we go. Yeah, and then this mantle right here appeared. Let's go check it out. The King's Mantle. Awesome. That's really good armor for David. So I'm going to equip that real quick. Let's see what we got here. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Let's see. The Rex had it. Okay, so the King's Mantle. So let's give that over to David. Let's switch up the dress and do for it. Sure thing. I will equip it. Awesome. Okay, let's go check that out. Let's see what we got here. So, he used to have the Iron Armor, which had him down to 148 defense. Now he has the King's Mantle. Brings him up to 213, and he gets less damage from Cold and Ice spells. In addition to, uh, <laughs> Cold and Ice spells and Ice and Ice spells. Isn't that lovely? So, uh, he has some pretty good stuff going on here right now. I still need to equip that other Elven Mantle, but there's some other things down here that I want to just check out. The brave one who seals away the monsters will be rewarded with my mantle. Well, I already got it. And then down here, there is a treasure. Wait, I guess it's not over there. It's probably over here. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Ooh, a demon hammer. Very nice. Anyway, I need to now trudge out of this cave. And I am going to uh, update my equipment and all that sort of stuff. And I can't evac out of here, unfortunately, because I don't have any MP. So I'm going to meet you outside the cave. Uh, I got out of the cave, I went to the inn, I organized my items, and I realized that I had two small metals. So, that means that I'm at 35 small metals. Awesome, I do have a desired prize. And I want that falcon sword. Yes, I do. Awesome. I shall give it to... Rich. I certainly do want to equip it immediately. Very good, very good, very good. So, let me give you an update on my equipment before I end this episode. Let's go ahead and do that now. 
Uh, David, he is the flaming boomerang, the king's mantle that fires shield, the crown of Lenol still, the fire ring, which is his wedding ring, the elven amulet, which actually reduces the effect of whack and thack spells. In backup, he is the miracle sword if he needs the healing, and the dragon staff because it casts the dragon when used as an item, and it has 20 more attack power than the uh, miracle sword. Rex has all heavenly equipment, plus the meteorite braces, which doubles his agility, except for he still has the steel armor. But we'll be rectifying that very shortly. Tabitha, don't really care about. She's the fairy sword, princess robe, scale shield, golden tiara, and a bunch of other stabs. Rich has the falcon sword. Let's look at that. He used to have the steel broadsword, which had 177. Now he's up to 211 attack power, and he attacks twice at a time. He also has the demon armor, which makes his agility zero, which I don't really care about. The dark shield, the Hades helm, and the elven amulet. But, more importantly than that, he is the Blessed Wand, which casts free heal more. Very nice. And Pierre has the Miracle Sword, the Edged Armor, the Dragon Shield, the Iron Mask. And then the rest of these three I don't eh, particularly care about. It's nice. Healy has the Happy, the happy Hat, which is actually really nice because then it restores his HP, or his MP as he walks. And he's pretty much our healer, so that's really nice. And Wings, this is what he has. So... Eh, he can't equip the wizard's robe with the magic shield, but it's just kind of there. So anyway, next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest V, we will be headed up to the Grand Temple itself, where we used to be a slave. We're finally headed back for revenge to kick some ass. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.